before I go to bed. I love reading books. I love reading words and the way the pictures look. Hi, my name is Sebastian. And my name is Alexander. We're the Camelo Bilinguas. We like reading books. And we hope you like reading books too. Today's book is... Let's read about... Cesar Chavez. Cesar Estrada Chavez was born on March 31st, 1927. He lived with his family in a small house in Arizona. Caesar's family needed to move to California to find work. This is where Caesar started school. School was hard for Caesar. He spoke Spanish. His teachers spoke English. They had trouble understanding each other. But Caesar loved to learn. He learned an important lesson from his mother. She told him that all people deserved respect. Caesar's family traveled all over California to work. They would pick fruits and vegetables in the fields. Caesar would go to whatever school was nearby. He went to 37 different schools by the time he was in 8th grade. Caesar had to leave school to work in the fields. He needed to help his family make money. Caesar worked from morning until night. He saw the landowners treat the workers very badly. This was against his mother's lesson of respect. Caesar joined the Navy when he was 17 years old. He was sad to leave his family. He sent money home to help them. Caesar never forgot the hard life in the fields. Many years passed. Caesar went home to California in 1948. He met a young woman named Helena Favela. They fell in love and soon got married. Caesar and Helena taught field workers to read and write. They hoped that this would help the workers speak up for their rights. Caesar started a group to help the workers even more. It was called the United Farm Workers. Caesar traveled to many farms. He would talk to the workers about their need to be treated fairly. The group decided to make a flag. It was red and black. It had an eagle on it. It stood for the pride and courage of the workers. The group went on marches and strikes. The landowners ignored Caesar and the workers. They said they would fire the workers if they did not stop marching and striking. The workers became very angry. Caesar decided he needed to do more. He fasted for 25 days. That means he did not eat any food. Caesar did this to make people see he was serious. Caesar and his group fought hard for change. He wanted respect for the people who worked hard in the fields every day. Today, there are schools. Streets and libraries named in honor of Cesar Chavez. He spent his life fighting to help others. Cesar Chavez is a hero to us all. The End You can find this book and many more at your local library. I love to go to libraries, look around and search, and I read so many books that I learned a lot of words. I can tell you stories that you never ever heard And I love to read about people different than me And I'm thankful I can read, I'm thankful I can see And before I go to bed, yeah, I love reading books